In a neighborhood overlooking San Diego's East County, Bob and Kathleen Siebel don't only have an awesome view, they've created a peaceful, tranquil home for Wooster, Deli, Marlowe, Sterling, Stormy, Webster, Bobby, Nikki, and the two eldest llamas, Lewis and Freckles. Hey, Sterling. Hey, how are you? Llama kiss. Ooh. It's this type of affection that captured the heart of this couple from Ithaca, New York, who brought most of these cousins to the camel to San Diego seven years ago. We brought nine of them out here. Uh, most of those were um, rescued animals that we had gotten from various sources, so we didn't know a lot about their backgrounds. Bob is a professor at California Western School of Law and says taking in rescue animals is like doing pro bono work or giving back to the community. It's like I always tell my students, you have to be doing something for work that you really love, otherwise you're, you know, you're going to be miserable. His wife, Kathleen, also works at Cal Western and says they both grew up without animals in their lives. My grandmother always had cats and dogs and assorted critters, and that was always something that I aspired to. And, um, you know, fortunately, look at it worked out. Yep. So we met in law school and discovered that, among other mutual interests, we loved animals. Wooster is another one of the family's friendly llamas I came in contact with. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> we were getting along so well, my photographer Roland was feeling the love and wanted to give it a try. Mm -hmm. Let me see your teeth. Hmm. I'm gonna eat it if you don't want it. <laughs> the Siebel say, Taking care of the llamas is no more difficult than taking care of their cats or dogs. So will you keep them or will you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. They've got a home for life. That's a beautiful thing. Lucky llamas. Yeah. Yeah. Lucky us. <laughs>